there are two steps that you need to prune your citrus tree. And the first thing you need to do is you need to identify the grafting junction. When you look at your tree, you're gonna see a little V and cut and scar that identifies the grafting junction. On larger trees, you're gonna see that scar, but it's not gonna be as prominent. We will have this area marked with tape and color on all of our trees. Below this grafting junction, you should prune all suckers to the base of the tree. Just cut flush to that area. The reason is, we talked about how the bottom of your tree is actually a rootstock. It's a trifoliate or sour orange. It's a totally different tree. So if branches come out from this part of the tree, it's not gonna produce the desired fruit that you want. It's just gonna take away energy and it can actually overgrow the entire tree. So it's always very important from day one to identify the grafting junction and keep an eye on it. You will see small little leaves coming out. You could just pluck those with your fingers if you like. Now, to actually prune your tree, this is your choice on how aesthetic you want your tree to look. In general, we like to see our trees grow up and then out. So bottom leaves and bottom suckers, which some trees love to produce a lot of suckers right at the grafting junction, which are good leaves and will produce fruit, they just don't look very good and can give a gangly type overall look to the tree. I personally, I cut those flush to the base of the trunk. Then the branches that are coming out, whenever, in general, whenever you prune a tree, it's gonna incite a hormonal response and stress to the tree, and the tree will respond with more branches and more flowering and fruit. In the first year that you have your tree, your tree is going to be focused on root growth and development and leaf growth and development. It will produce flowers once in a while and small fruit that will likely fall off. So any energy that the tree is using for flowers and fruit, it's really not going to be producing big fruit. It needs to have that base of a ton of beautiful leaves. That way it can get energy and take that energy and put it into fruit production. So in the first year, as heartbreaking as it can be, it definitely is not a bad idea to just prune off any flowers or even small fruit um, when you're doing your pruning. You can prune your tree twice a year. It's a, one good time is in the springtime, another time is in the fall. Now if your tree is more mature and it's large and it's producing flowers and fruit, don't prune off those flowers and fruit because that would be uh, potential good fruit that you could be cutting off but again it's your choice now pruning your tree is quite simple you just find a leaf and there'll be a, sometimes there'll be a little thorn a little bud junction but right above the leaf you just cut at a 45 degree angle with some pruning shears your pruning shears you do want to make sure it's relatively clean especially if you're using it to prune other plants that may have disease, just put some rubbing alcohol and wipe this down really well prior. And then you can do that at the tips of all the end branches of this tree. This tree doesn't really need to be pruned, but we'll just do this as an example. You see there's a leaf and a little thorn, and then I just cut it at a 45 degree angle. And that's it. Each time I prune, I'm also thinking, I'm stimulating new growth on this citrus tree. Now, whenever you stimulate new growth, you are, you know, new flowers and new buds are gonna make the tree a little more susceptible to cold. And uh, so if it's, if, you, if you're having your citrus trees outdoors and it's in the 40s, um, you, that's not a good time. Winter time is not a good time to prune it exactly, but sometime in the March region and the time period and sometime in the fall region time period, that's a good time to prune your tree. And so you have the two major principles. 
identifying the grafting junction, which will have some tape, but again, you have to keep an eye on it because as the tree grows, the tape can fall off or such, and pruning everything at the junction or below. At the junction is actually okay. Aesthetically, it's just not very pleasing. That's extremely important. Then for just overall health and aesthetics of the tree, you want to prune all of the end branches. So you do that in the fall and the spring, and that's all you need to do for pruning your citrus tree.